Welcome back to my channel. This is a new series of three parts, this being part one, on plant responses to the environment. In today's video, I will be going through the following topics. Plant growth substances, auxins, gibberellins, and abscisic acid. Let us begin with plant growth substances. A hormone is an organic substance produced in small amounts in one part of the body and transported to the other parts where it controls growth and development in some way. Auxins, gibberellins, and abscisic acid are examples of plant growth substances that may be considered as hormones, but are not true hormones because they may bring about an effect in that part of the plant body where they are produced. Next, we move on to auxins. Let us consider some of the functions of auxins. They bring about a bending reaction in plants called tropism. Geotropism and phototropism are examples of tropisms. Auxins promote cell division and are responsible for cell enlargement. Auxins are also responsible for apical dominance. Auxins in the apical bud will promote vertical growth and inhabit the growth of lateral branches. If the apical bud is removed, apical dominance is removed as well. This results in the growth of lateral branches being promoted. Auxins promote root development. Auxins are used in agriculture as weed killers and to promote development of fruit without fertilization, aka seedless fruits. Next, let's look at gibberellins. Let us consider some of the functions of gibberellins. It promotes the elongation of internodes of stems, stimulates root growth, promotes development of flowers, and it appears to promote sprouting of buds which have been dormant in the past. It helps in the germination of seeds as well as increases the fruit size. Lastly, let us discuss abscisic acid. The functions of abscisic acid are the following. It brings about dormancy of seeds by slowing down germination and dormancy of apical buds. It induces flowering in some plants and helps in closing of stomata during periods of water shortage or drought. It also promotes the aging of leaves. That brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you all for watching. Credits for this presentation template go to SlidesGo. Please like this video if you enjoyed and subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more. As always, feel free to email me at everydaystudies101 at gmail.com. If you have any queries, questions, or any topics you would like me to focus on in future videos, 